my tiger mist order came in early this is like a great piece because it's just like easy to slip on but it's crazy that cabo is just like two months away it looks like something crashed completely through it people are lighting off fireworks right now and it's driving me crazy how long has it been two years <laughs> i know <laughs> Welcome to today's day in my life vlog, you guys. Oh, and the battery's dying immediately as the vlog starts. So that's a great sign. Okay, I don't think this battery's much better, but you know, we're just gonna run with it and hope that lasts for at least a little bit. But I just ran up and grabbed my camera right now. I wasn't originally gonna film today, but my Tiger Mist order came in early. Obviously, I've already unboxed it because there's nothing in this bag. It's actually my first Tiger Mist order that I've ever gotten. And I figured as I try on all the pieces, why don't I vlog that, give you guys my thoughts, first impression on Tiger Mist. A couple of these pieces are for Cabo, so you guys are getting like a little itty bitty mini Cabo haul sneak peek here. I'm gonna try my best to not give too much away as far as like what each piece is for. I mean, obviously dresses are for dinner and stuff, but like if there's a theme or something. I don't wanna tell you guys what the theme is, but I got some really, really cute pieces in and I'm really excited to try them on. Like I said, I've never ordered from Tiger Mist before, so this will be interesting. I did size up in everything. I just, in my experience for me and my body type, Australian brands tend to just run smaller on me on the hips. So I always size up. So everything that I got is in a large and yeah, we'll just see how everything fits on me. Fingers crossed because I don't think I reviewed the return policy, so hopefully I don't have to return anything. First item is very, very different. I was kind of unsure about it, but it was literally $14, so I was like, you know, why not? I'm interested. I could see different ways I could style these. They're very, very out there, but sometimes it's fun to have, like, really funky pieces in your wardrobe, so pull this up so you guys can really see the waist on here. I got these, like, zebra jeans. They are definitely super long on me so i will need to get them hemmed and i actually do need to do a little bit of work on these but they do fit really well around my waist i'm very very happy with the fit i like the kind of like v fit that's always like a little bit more flattering because it elongates your torso especially if you have a shorter torso like me so yeah really loving the fit the only thing is like do you guys see this where the cutout is it's like too much fabric but if i can get my seamstress to just like pinch in that excess look at how much better it looks just without that excess fabric it just creates a more flattering line but i do really like these i know that they're not for everyone but i think that these would be a really fun like going out pant i have a faux leather bandeau that would be really cute with this could even do like a pop of color on the top with like maybe a bright green corset that would be really really cute so just a fun funky pair of pants Everything that I have is blue or black jeans and then one pair of white jeans. So why not? Why not have a fun pair? Again, they're not for everyone, but I thought that they were really cool, especially with this waist and then the little cutout. I thought the cutout in particular was a really fun detail. So that is the first piece and I do love the fit of it. I think it fit perfectly. I think I got an eight in this, I want to say. I'm pretty positive I got a US eight like 90% sure. Okay, so I had to look it up. I got a large, which does translate into a US 8 or 10, kind of like in between there. So the large in this was a good fit for me. I have a little bit of room around the waist, as you guys saw, especially with like the way the cutout just had so much extra fabric, but around my hips, which is usually the problem area for me with Australia brands because of my butt, this fit perfectly. This next item I got as a beach cover up. Please don't mind my underwear showing through. Obviously I would be wearing a bikini underneath it normally, but I just thought that these were so cute i've always wanted a pair of like beach pants but as you guys can see they are long on me but i don't think that i want to even like bother getting them hemmed i mean you guys probably think that i'm crazy but because they're open i'm not getting caught on them they're just gonna drag a little bit which is totally fine with me it's just gonna be i know really expensive to hem this type of fabric because it is so delicate so i think i'm just gonna leave it like i said because like if i'm walking and stuff they like get out of the way they're just gonna drag but they're these like sheer cover-up pants which i have been wanting so bad i don't know if i'm gonna wear these in san diego or in cabo 
that is TBD. But yeah, I really like these. I really like how high the slit goes up. And I love the fact that there is a slit. Like I said, it allows me to be able to walk in these even though they are long. And I just think that it's a really cute look for like a bikini cover up. You know, something different from like your typical sarong or dress cover up. This next dress is for one of our theme dinners. I'm not going to tell you guys the theme. You guys might get a little bit more of an idea when I style it in my upcoming Cabo haul. But it's this like mesh printed tube dress specifically wanted a tube dress for this theme and I just thought that it was a cute print. This is like a great piece because it's just like easy to slip on. Like if I need a quick outfit for going out or something like this is just like super easy slip it on throw on a pair of sandals or heels but yeah just like a typical tube dress with a really really fun print. I will say it is made out of mesh so it is technically sheer. I need to wear something underneath because right now in this lighting it's fine but I know like if I go into the sun or anything you're gonna see everything so <laughs> just keep that in mind that you will absolutely need some kind of undergarments in this especially if you are tanner but what I like about this is that I can wear shapewear underneath it. I don't have any shapewear on right now but it is like thick enough and has enough coverage that I can wear some Spanx underneath if I want to. And then this last dress was like the whole reason why I even ordered from Tiger Mist. I got this yellow dress. This is, I think they're Jocelyn dress. It's the only dress that I know the name of because I like had it saved for so long. But I got this for one of our dinners for like a non-theme dinner night. I really, really loved the yellow, especially as I get tanner. It's gonna look so good against my skin tone. I loved this really high slit here. Like it goes all the way up, which, you know, means you're going commando in this dress, but that's fine. The only thing is I got it in a large and it's weird. The sleeves fit both too small and too big. Like here on this side, they're too big. So you guys can see it's like I've got so much extra room, but here in the armhole, it feels really, really tight. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but just be aware of that if you guys want to get this dress. The armholes run really small, but the rest of the sleeve runs really, really big. But the main reason why I wanted this dress is because of the back. Look at that low back. I'm obsessed with it, and then it ties at the bottom. It's so freaking cute. You guys know me. I'm a sucker for an open back. It's just like my thing. So like I had said, I sized up in everything. I got larges in everything just to be extra cautious. I figured worst comes to worst, I could alter in whatever I needed to. I will say I am very, very glad that I got the large in this dress. Like I said, the armholes were really small. And then also the waist on this is a little bit on the snugger side. I could have fit in a medium fine, but it's nice to have the little extra room and stuff here because it does have this like hard seam that runs along here which like helps the dress keep structure since it doesn't have a back so be aware of that in this dress for the other dress the printed tube dress i wish i had done the medium there is just like a ton of extra fabric and extra room in there for me but it's not like so bad that i won't wear it it's just that material the mesh is so stretchy that i definitely feel like i should have done the medium but it's fine i'd still wear it as is but anyways yeah that is my first tiger miss haul excited that i finally ordered from them and I can't wait to like style all of these pieces for Cabo. Oh by the way before I move on with my day I did want to note for you guys because I'm pretty sure if you were interested in these sunglasses and you clicked on my link you probably panicked and were suspicious about these dupes. These are the Prada dupes that I showed in the last vlog that are like literally $25 or less something like that uh, and they look legit. They come with a case and everything if you guys missed that video. It comes with the Prada box, comes with the Prada sunglasses case and also the paperwork that usually comes with Pradas. It's like insane the attention to detail they went on these sunglasses. It's like almost indetectable that they're dupes unless you like absolutely know what you're looking for. It even has the Prada etched in, everything. So if you guys click on the link for these, which I will link them again, I did want to note because I forgot to say it in the last vlog, the website cannot show the Prada logo on the photos of these sunglasses on the page that you purchased these from. So just note that. I mean, the shape will be exactly like how it is here, but all of the Prada logoing, everything will be gone. I think they just put like PP wherever the logo is supposed to appear on the sunglasses. They cannot legally show the Prada logo on the product site. So don't be sketched out by that. I know I was at first, I took a real gamble purchasing these, but I promise you they come in looking exactly like these with the logos and everything. Again, I was sketched out at first when I purchased them too. I was like, why am I not seeing the logo on the product photos? But I had faith, I ordered them, and this is like proof right here. I promise you guys, it, it will come in looking like this with the Prada logos. Also too, since I did have a good experience with the site, I did purchase 
to dupe bags which I will unbox for you guys in a video probably coming next month because shipping does take three to four weeks with their products so just know that as well shipping is going to take forever but I did purchase some bags so I will be unboxing those coming up on my channel and we'll see how good the bags are as well. I'm going to hang up the Cabo pieces with the rest of the Cabo stuff little sneak peek again of some of the things that I'm bringing. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring both of these bags because I ordered a new bag that might replace this one but this bag was just like 10 bucks or so so it's not that big a deal plus I'll probably find other uses for this. But it's crazy that Cabo is just like two months away. I feel like we've been planning for so long and it just like crept up on us though it didn't really creep up on us because we've obviously been like discussing it and planning it and stuff but it's just like one of those things where you just like have been talking about it, it always seems like such a far off thing then you look at the calendar and all of a sudden you're like oh my god wait that's happening in like seven weeks or something which is so soon and then i have as you guys know my other friend's bachelorette coming up in just a few weeks here i think just like three weeks or so in san diego which is going to be so much fun so yeah just like so much going on over the next few weeks these for sure will need to get hemmed i'm debating on if i'll want to hem the sleeves on the yellow dress or if i want to just live with it but these pants for sure there's no way that i won't hem these um, so these will go over here i need to clean up this room this room's a freaking hot mess again we did like a closet clean out and i got in a pretty good place for that but then we packed for san francisco and then it just got crazy again so i think i'll try to tidy all this up because trevor hopefully has a package coming in today that he wants to set up in here so gotta get the room in like a decent spot for him i cleared out the room moved the clothing rack back over here why are these on top but this is basically just like all clothes that i don't have room for in either of the closets <laughs> and i've done so many closet purges i don't know what's wrong with me i need to be more willing to give things up but i'm like a sentimental hoarder so especially if clothing was like for an event I have a hard time giving it up. And then I just have my small luggage over here. I want to put it away, but I'm, like, not sure if I'm going to need it in the next couple weeks. For San Diego, we're taking the train, and I don't know if we're going to have to walk to our hotel from there, if we'll be taking an Uber, what. Like, literally no clue. So if we're walking, I want my roller because I'm not fucking carrying my weekender bag it's like heavy on its own then plus when i pack it it's so heavy so i'm not carrying that for like five six blocks but if we are driving i should do the weekender bag because it's smaller and more compact that'll allow us to fit everybody's luggage in so i think i need to text my friend and find out what the plan is because that'll be a big deciding factor on whether or not i'm gonna need this luggage in the next couple weeks but i'm gonna put this away actually i can put some of these clothes away in the other closet yeah let me start thinning out this damn clothing rack. I think Trevor's package just came in. Heard a knock. Yes. Okay, he's going to be so happy about this. Like, you guys don't even know. Oops. Trevor asked me to open it up just to confirm everything in here. Because I guess it's supposed to, like come with cables and a controller and stuff. Did I tell you guys what's in here? I'm sure you saw it in the title, but this is a PS5. Trevor has been wanting one for so long. It's just been sold out because of like the chip shortage, COVID, all of that stuff. Shoot, I don't know which side's the front. Maybe this side? Oops, did I cut the wrong side? Anyways, yeah, it's just been hell for him trying to get one. He's been asking for one for like Christmas, for his birthday, all of that for like the past two years. And it's not that nobody wanted to get it for him, it's that you literally couldn't get a hold of these. Like you had to be lucky. I think I totally did it upside down. Yes, I did. My bad. Oh no, I didn't. Perfect. Anytime I went to go try to get it for him, they were sold out. Or you could get them from resellers for like eight hundred dollars when these normally run for like five hundred so he's been waiting and he finally saw a seller and specifically he wanted the disc one not the digital one because it was also meant to 
replace our Blu-ray player. We do stream stuff, but we also have like a huge Blu-ray and DVD collection that we don't want to like not be able to ever play. So he really, really wanted to make sure that he got the disc one and not the digital one. Like the digital one was available everywhere, but not the disc one. So hopefully this one is a good one. He got it off of eBay. It does have like the eBay guarantee. So, oh gosh, I can't get this out of here. I am concerned the back is like all tore up. Oh my God. It looks like something crashed completely through it. Hopefully it's fine. We'll find out later today when he comes back and tries to power this on. And then he said to check for the remote. Yes, it came with its remote. I just want to check because that little hole in the side just made me so nervous. I just want to make sure that this isn't damaged at all. It looks like it's fine. I mean, it's all wrapped up. Yeah, okay. Looks good. Oof, this is heavier than I anticipated, but I don't see any holes in the wrapping. Very sleek looking. I think it goes this way, but there you go. PS5, finally. He's been waiting two years for this. I think he ended up getting it for like 580 or something like that. So not that much over what it normally goes for. Thank God, like we just didn't want anyone spending like seven, $800 to get it for him. But a little bit over just so we can finally get it was like, whatever. I'm gonna put all this back and then I'm gonna eat because I am starving. I haven't eaten yet and it's like 1230. It's much, much later. As I'm sure you guys can kind of tell, I am getting my dinner put together. People are lighting off fireworks right now and it's driving me crazy. They literally started lighting off fireworks at like seven o'clock when it was still light out and poor Spartacus has just been cowering and shaking in the living room. This poor guy, I'm sure he'll be in here any minute because he doesn't like want to be alone right now. But yeah i don't understand why people were setting off fireworks as early as seven it's still light out like you can't even see the fireworks they're just doing it to be assholes and what sucked about them starting it at seven is that he usually eats dinner at 7 30. like every other night or so we've been giving him sedatives that his vet gave to us for the fireworks and they do help a lot but with the sedatives if he starts getting anxious before them the sedatives aren't gonna help it only calms him down from the point that he's at when he takes them so if he's already freaking out about the fireworks the sedatives do nothing so when the fireworks go off so early that we're not even anywhere near giving him sedatives yet it just like it kind of kills the whole night so I feel so bad for him right now but anyways I am just pan frying up some shrimp I have these Kirkland pre-cooked frozen shrimp that I defrosted I'm using the Trader Joe's extra virgin garlic olive oil I like it because it's like infused so gives it a little bit more flavor and even more garlic with one garlic cube turn this down though do not need another oil burner oh gosh and i'm gonna do just the tiniest bit of butter actually i'm gonna do it once the shrimp is in here i feel like that would be better whoa whoa Oh my God, this is on like such low heat and it's like spinning at me. Just a little bit of butter, just enough to give this a little bit of flavor. Oh my God, the flame isn't even on and this is like going nuts. Some pepper, just a little hit of garlic salt. 
I have to be careful with the big one because like if I tip it, so much comes out. And I don't want to cook this for too long because like I said, the shrimp is already cooked. But I just want to get it on the stove enough to give them just some flavor and maybe pan fry them just a touch. And then lastly, do just a little bit of lemon juice. Okay, I'm going to leave this over a low flame while I warm up the pasta. So I did the feta pasta last night, but I don't do it with feta. Like I call it the feta pasta, so you guys know what I'm talking about. But I actually do it with borsin instead, and it's so good. So I do borsin, tomatoes, garlic, let that all cook in the oven for like 400 degrees. And then when it comes out, I put like a scoop of the Kirkland pesto in there, and it just really adds some like super good flavor. And then I just add some angel hair pasta to it. I do the protein pasta, obviously, just to get myself a little extra protein. We know how it goes. I'm just going to warm myself up some of this. I don't know why, but whenever I do this one in particular, the feta pasta style with the borsin, I really, really love it with angel hair in particular. Like lately I've been doing spaghetti when I do those like turkey meatballs and stuff, but for this in particular, it needs to be angel hair. All of it's nice and hot. You guys know the drill, obscene amount of Parmesan. So that's just how I roll when it comes to pasta. Add in my shrimp. So that's dinner tonight, you guys. The pasta itself is so good. If you haven't tried doing that baked feta and subbing borsin instead, highly recommend it. It's like literally gonna blow your mind and try adding that scoop of the Kirkland pesto into it. It's just like absolutely amazing. How are you doing there, handsome? You feeling better? It's been about 15 minutes since the last firework went off. And you guys, they are going off hard right now. It sounds like it's literally above our place. So it's really shaking him. But he's calmed down a little bit because it's been a few minutes. I'm hoping that that's the last of it for tonight. But I don't know. I'll keep thinking that the fireworks are done. Then another one will go off 20 minutes later. But... Fingers crossed they're done for the night. So Trevor finally came home to his new PS5. <laughs> How long's it been? Two years. I know. I was telling them, you want to go set it up? Yes. Okay. You coming, Bubba? You want to come set up Dad's PS5? We're going to go upstairs. Let's go. So apparently Trevor knew it was going to be an open box. I freaked out when I saw that. This freaking hole that was in here. You got your controller and everything in here. That was what you needed, right? The cable that you were asking me about? No. Oh, just kidding. Then I did not look thoroughly enough. Maybe in here? All that matters mostly is the controller. Okay. Well, the, oh, here yes, you go. There's the HDMI. There it is. Okay, we got it. Everything's in here. Trevor told me to go get the game from his bag, and I think he's trying to tempt me to start yeah. playing because... He literally came home and I was watching the Clone Wars, so clearly this is up my alley. We got it set up. Trevor's tinkering with the base right now. But we're in. Where's the game? It's inside. Oh, got it. Alright, folks, I'm going to call on today's vlog. Spartacus and I are heading to bed. You go potty. Go tinkle time. Thank you. Trevor just played the Star Wars game on his PS5 for a little while. Then I went back downstairs to continue binge watching the Clone Wars because that's just what I'm obsessed with right now. I know, not interesting for most of you guys who watch my vlogs. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to bed here. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing and trying on my very first Tiger Mist order with me. And also, I hope you guys were just as entertained as I was at Trevor's excitement to finally get a PS5. But me and the pup are gonna go to sleep, so I will see you guys in the next vlog.